ShireSociety.com. How are you? Good, how are you doing? Hey, I, I understand the Colorado Springs the Police Department detained a guy for just trying to film the police department. Were you involved in that incident? No. Do you support that incident? Do you support the police doing that? Your brothers and sisters in blue? I don't know. How are you? Are you on the council? Yeah. I've got a question for you too. Hey, wait, I'll be back. <laughs> okay. But, uh, oh, thanks for coming back out. Not everybody yeah. does. <laughs> oh, I know. Dave Ridley. I don't worry. Poor man's TV station. For what? Poor man's TV station. Where's that? I'm an independent reporter. Okay. Um, is, a, is there a poor man's station if you have an opportunity to, uh, you know, report? I guess uh, that's more than I've got here. I yeah, the costs, to... the costs have come down. Well, they have to come down. Okay, what's the, what's um, the question for today? Over at um, Manitou Boulevard. Uh, the uh, Colorado Springs Utilities has pretty heavily damaged that road in building some of their structures. And that was two years ago. Uh, Manitou, um, Manitou Boulevard in the yeah. Promontory Point neighborhood just west of here. That's where we're putting in that pipeline. I don't know about a pipeline, but there's, there's a water tank that was put in about two years ago. No, they, uh, we're putting in a major, uh, 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 renovating a whole new pipeline system down there to uh, Mesa. Yeah, I know. I, yeah, it's a big construction site for us. What's that? The road's been left damaged for about two years. And uh, the, I just thought the road has been left yeah, Manitou is damaged. Okay, by and us, by our CSU. I believe it was CSU that was did most of the damage. Okay. Uh, my folks live in that neighborhood, and uh, the have they asked CSU about it or? I don't know what my folks have done. I just know what I'm doing. I'm asking you. <laughs> okay. Well, no, no. But you're, when you say folks, is it a family? Correct. I have family okay. that lives there. Well, you know, the family can contact us at any time, and that, we're more than willing to. Uh, review it with uh, utilities and with, of course, Manitou folks and make sure that, uh, you know, if, if it's uh, damage we did, we, we repair it. That's, well, it seems, like, it seems like you have enough money to, to arrest, like the, or the police department you detained a guy just for filming their police department, I, I, right? This, okay, now this was two years ago. Be, oh, two years ago. Yeah, roughly two years ago, as I recall. Okay. And this, you know, they've got enough money to do that, so you've obviously got enough money to fix a road. I don't, it doesn't correlate, we're quite a few officers short, so, uh, and, and who, who did what arresting and what were the circumstances? There was an incident at Falcon substation where a man was doing a First Amendment audit, are you familiar with those? Not uh, just vaguely, it's just uh, It's a little bit like what I'm doing, you okay. go to a government facility and you take guys, pictures, yeah. basically, yeah. And, uh, uh, for the record, I'm Bill Murray, City Council Member at okay. large, and uh, there's no issue, big or small, that we can't to sit down and discuss and come to a resolution to it as long as we all have the same information. Yeah. And that's what's critical here, same information. So this is, uh, you're talking about a family road, a family neighborhood uh, road issue uh, that you're willing to come back and we'll discuss with CSU, um, that there was a gentleman detained at the Falcon Station, which is not in Manitou. Uh, well, uh, Manitou Boulevard is what I was talking about, which is in Colorado Springs. And Falcon yeah. Substation, I believe, is Colorado Springs Police Department. Yeah, Falcon and, is, yeah. But yeah. it's not a Manitou. Just... Correct. There's nothing to do with, nothing to okay, do with so Manitou. I, get I just, you know, okay. the, the, your government has enough money to do a lot of really I bad, a lot of really bad, bad things. Uh, that one being the most obvious. But I was also, your police department kicked me out of the library uh, because I was trying to film an anti-Trump event in the public library. So... You guys have enough money to do all these bad things, but you don't have enough money to maintain a second century technology of a road, it seems like. Okay, they don't, they don't equate to me, but having said that, uh, money is always an issue. Resources are always an issue. Uh, First Amendment is always an issue. Uh, making sure that the police are impaired, uh, not impaired, uh, to perform their functions, Okay, is, is critical for the health and safety of the population. And that's uh, one of those things we, we hopefully, we, under, we all, we, we understand. Uh, your right to film, I, I believe, is unimpaired. Uh, uh, well, in, in theory. Okay, so, you know, no, more, more than theory, this particular situation, which I'm not familiar with, uh, okay, would be something that would be adjudicated in the courts. 
I would, I would ask the individual who was detained, has he uh, sued He's already the sued the city and successfully obtained $44,000 settlement, if I recall correctly. Oh, he did? Correct. And that was recent. Hmm. I'm unaware of that. Okay. Uh, well, I thought I should make you aware. Okay. But here's my card. We are, are actually in, in session in a couple of minutes. Okay. Oh, I appreciate so, your transparency, Mr. Murray. Oh, no. That's, that's yeah. one of the things I keep talking to folks about. I say, if you can't talk the issue through, okay, then what's our point? Yeah. Okay. And that's where uh, transparency is incredibly important. The public needs to know that, that their folks, their council members, are available to talk to them. And even if it's disagreeable situations. But I'm also interested in this, this issue about a anti-Trump rally in the library. Which library? Rally, was rally is not the right word. It was more of a speech, a gathering. Okay. Uh, probably, it was probably mostly just, you know, prominent local Democrats. And, you know, I've filmed their events before, and yeah. we all get well, along. Was it, and, um, in a, in a, was it a sanctioned event there in the library? Uh, yes, it was a, yeah, it was scheduled. They let them go on with the event. Okay. If you Google, I mean, all this stuff has been filmed. If you, if you uh, go to YouTube and you just search for uh, Goon Library, you'll find the video. Okay, that's good. I'll look at it, <laughs> okay. All right, I got to go in. All right. But, uh, yeah, I'll definitely look at it. All right, thanks yeah, much for your time. Yeah, I appreciate nice that. You. Take care. 2,000 Liberty lovers have moved to New Hampshire for the Free State Project. But there's a saying, my saying, actually. United we stand, divided we rise. If you think the Free State Project is too centralized or restrictive, join the Shire Society instead. They're also recruiting people to move to New Hampshire, but they're decentralized and have no board of directors. ShireSociety.com